Y'all, I just woke up. It's 9 a.m., but I was like, this just feels like a great time to make enchiladas. <laughs> Hi, y'all, tomatoes. How are you today? Oh, so fancy. So today, I am making Flaming Hot Cheeto enchiladas. Beefy and cheesy and deliciousness. It's gonna taste so good. It's gonna overshadow Thanksgiving, which is tomorrow. Y'all might not know that because I might be posting this later in the week. And I just spit. I don't know if you saw that. I hope you saw it so you know that YouTubers are real people too. We have emotions and we have saliva. We have boogers and we have an asshole. <laughs> so tomorrow's Thanksgiving and this is totally gonna overshadow it because <laughs> this is flaming hot Cheeto and gelato. It's like turkey who? But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to become a tomato and hit that notification bell. Ding dong! So that you get notified every time I post a video. Video. I got tortillas, I got cheetos, I got a cow, I got a lot of stuff. Let's just, let's just start. I'm ready. Okay, so first things first. We are going to use our food processor. Her name is Miss Sack, in case you're new here and you don't know anything. And we are going to food process our Cheetos. Cheetos need to be like really tiny crumbs because they're going to go into the enchilada sauce. So I really need it to be like a nice smooth sauce. You feel me? So I'm going to make these as small as possible. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna fit. I think this is too many. Let me just. There's a few. One more. Okay, so let's just get the lid on. Seal it. Let's process. Okay, let's just see what, what it's looking like. Get a little update. It's almost there, not yet though, because there's still some big crumbs. Let's keep on going. Okay, let me just unplug it. I think they are perfect. Literally flaming hot breadcrumbs. This is exactly what we need. So I'm gonna take off the little thingy, the sharp dangerous thingy. And if you're making this, have a parent assist you, even if you're like 45, it's always good to have a parent's assistant. And by the way, I have my parent's assistant. In case you were wondering, I'm always on the safe side. Meet my parents, Shirley and Claudia. <laughs> They're a lesbian couple, very progressive. That's where I became gay, obviously. Obviously that was sarcasm because a bunch of ignorant people think that if you have gay parents, you're gonna turn out gay. It doesn't work like that. It's how you're born, okay, thank Thank you. That was me making fun of you. I don't, I don't think that. Just, <laughs> just to clarify. Stupidity. Okay, I'm just gonna put all my crumbs onto a plate right here and set those aside until we are ready to use them. Wow, these are literally perfect. I'm slayed. Perfect. Yay! Okay, y'all, so the filling of our enchiladas is gonna be mainly ground beef. Now, once again, I got the kind with a lot of fat in it because it was cheaper. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to cook that out. So I'm just gonna cut it open. This part's always kind of gross. I'm sorry to all the non-meat eaters out there. Just gonna plop this in. Ugh. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god, it's going off the side. Go back. Okay, so I'm just gonna cook this until it becomes fully brown and then we're gonna move on to the next step, which is seasoning and all that stuff. It's gonna be delicious. I'm excited. Oh, yo, it's growing an ass crack. I love that. Okay, I'm gonna just turn up the heat pretty high. Get this going, get this cow cooking. So my spatula is covered in something. <laughs> I think those are old, like hash browns or something like that. So I was gonna set that aside, clean that later and find a different tool to use. A fork, I'll start with that. Oh my goodness, let's hope this still works. Okay, I'm just gonna start breaking it apart. Ew, it's kind of brown on the inside, what is this? I'll be updating you guys during this cooking process. Enjoy the music. <laughs> Okay, so there's some brownness happening here. And I think I've said this before in a past meat DIY, but the smell of cooking ground beef repulses me. Like, I love the taste after it's done, but the smell, it's like, damn. Did this cow have some diarrhea or something? <laughs> okay, right now we're about half and half. We're like half brown, half raw still, but it's going very smoothly. Even with a fork, nothing is sticking. Everything is great. Life is good. Live, laugh, love. Fart in my face. I'm ready to rule. <laughs> no, this ain't about my pussy. This about my buns. You gonna feel it, my Okay, I think that my beef is completely brown, but we're not done with it yet. I first just have to drain out all the fat because there's a lot of fat, so I'm gonna drain that into a container. Okay, I'll be back with some dry beef, okay? Okay, I'm back and look at all this fat. That's gonna harden and then I have to dump it into the trash so that it doesn't clog my sink. <laughs> Next step for this ground beef, what we're gonna do is season it because this has no flavor and this is going to be the main filling of our enchilada so of course 
we need some flavor. And so I got some hot and spicy taco mix because it has to be hot and spicy. It's flaming hot enchiladas, am I right? So I'm just going to sprinkle this in all over the meat, just like so. <laughs> And then I'm going to add some agua because that's what the packet of seasoning says to do. So I'm just gonna pour this all over and it's gonna make a nice little sauce that we're gonna need to cook off. So I'm just gonna start mixing this in so that like the seasoning gets all over all the meat and not just the top, you feel me? Y'all see this? Y'all see all that liquid? All that has to kind of be absorbed into the meat before we finish cooking it. But before we do that, let me add my other little ingredients. I thought it would be a really nice touch to add some chopped green chilies. I love green chili. They add a great flavor and they're just delicious. So I'm gonna add that to my meat. Perfect, so I'm just going to, okay, it's a little liquidy, but that's fine, I'm just gonna add more flavor. We can cook that off too. So I'm just gonna plop all my green chilies in there. Mm, yes, and I'm just gonna mix these in completely. But it ain't in the earth, my anus hole is gonna open up and swallow your turd. Spark it, pop it, anus, drop it, ass, cheek, earthquake. Okay, so y'all see how like all the sauce is just kind of like sucked up and gone? That, well, so <laughs> now it's coming in. Thank you for making me look stupid. Whatever, it's basically done. So I'm just gonna turn off the heat and set this aside until we are ready to use it, which will be very soon. Let's build our inside of it. <laughs> okay, so before we assemble all the enchiladas, I'm gonna first make our sauce. It's gonna be super easy and super quick. So I got a bunch of cans of this red enchilada sauce. And I'm just gonna start opening them up and pouring them into my bowl. Ooh. I mean, it's like red, but it's more like tomato-y red. I feel like the Flaming Hot Cheetos are gonna give it a pow. Like that orange redness. Oh, oh my lord. Oh my god. Okay, we're good to go. It smells really good. I've never used this stuff. It's like tomato-y and spicy smelling. It smells real good. I just stuck my whole face into a bowl. <laughs> Okay, perfect. So we have all of our sauce in the bowl, and now I'm gonna add the special secret ingredient. Can you guess what it is? Ha <laughs> Flaming Hot Cheetos! So these um, are the Cheetos that we food processed earlier. Ooh! Okay, maybe that was a little too much. No, oh, you just don't know how to calm down. I'm just going to mix my Cheeto crumbs into the sauce to literally make a Flaming Hot Cheeto sauce. This will really take on the flavor of the Flaming Hot Cheetos because it's all gonna be kind of like getting soggy in there and stuff like that. If there's like blobs of Flaming Hot Cheetos, just kind of keep mixing so they all disperse. Oh my, it smells amazing. It smells like a huge Flaming Hot Cheeto. And it's real thick, but that's okay. I like my sauces thick, you feel me? And the more it sits here, the more soggy all the crumbs are gonna get and just kind of like become a sauce, you feel me? So I'm just gonna let this sit here for a minute. It looks amazing. The sauce is ready to go. Okay, so now it's actually time to build, yay! So I have my casserole pan here. It's actually a cake pan, but I use it for all my casseroles. Don't tell Martha Stewart. <laughs> I'm just putting a quick coat of Pamela. Pamela's my favorite sauce. <laughs> because Cheetos are cheesy, hello, I want these enchiladas to be very cheesy as well. So on the bottom of the pan, I'm going to put a layer of like nacho cheese. Yes, it looks gross, but it's, it's like it tastes delicious. Oh my, God, there's literally enchiladas on the side of the can. I'm shook. I'm just gonna put the nacho cheese into the pan and spread it all over the bottom of the whole pan because I want this to be like a bed for my enchiladas, like a nice, cheesy, fluffy bed. And this stuff smells so good. It tastes amazing. Not sponsored, but my favorite nacho cheese is the canned kind because it's like the legit kind. You feel me? So we have our nice nacho cheese bed here, all made and ready to be tucked in. <laughs> so now is the fun part. I'm gonna go get my tortillas. I know that some people use corn tortillas and some use flour for their enchiladas. I personally like flour more for this type of thing. So I'm gonna take a tortilla, just like that, and I'm going to put my meat mixture on it, just in the center, down the middle, kind of like a burrito, just like that, perfect. And now I'm gonna put a sprinkle of my Flaming Hot Cheeto crumbs, so it gets that flavor inside of it. Mm, oh my God, this is gonna be so good. Ah. Then of course, 
I'm gonna add a lot of cheese. Y'all, I think I put too much meat. This is gonna be a really full enchilada. It's gonna be like a little burrito, literally. I'm just gonna put a lot of cheese because that's what's gonna make it so delicious. And I'm just going to roll it. <laughs> I'm gonna try to roll it like this. I guess because mine are not sticky, I'm just going to put them upside down. I don't know. A lot of people don't do this, but whatever. Okay. There we go. Yay! Our first enchilada is in, y'all. I'm just going to keep on going. I'm going to make a whole pan of them. And then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so I have five huge fat enchiladas here. They're more like burritos because they're so big. <laughs> and now I'm gonna take my flaming hot enchilada sauce. It has been sitting, so it's really like thick and saucy. And I'm gonna literally just like spoon it on top of each of them. Now, okay, I hope it kind of melts in the oven, hopefully, because <laughs> it's real thick. Okay, so I'm just kind of scared that it's not gonna melt down in the oven because it's so thick and just so filled with Flaming Hot Cheetos. So I'm just gonna kind of like make the shape, like put the little cracks back in between them just so I can get that good thumbnail later on, you feel me? <laughs> so now I'm just gonna add a lot more cheese on top of each of them. I'm just gonna kind of go down like a little row here. I love me some queso. I love it so much. <laughs> that was a really bad song. I've done better. Okay, so hopefully this will get all bubbly and delicious in the oven. I'm gonna pop it in there until everything is cooked through and it's crispy and bubbly and cheesy and delicious, okay? I'll give y'all an oven update as well. See you then. Y'all, they're almost done and they look amazing. I love the contrast of the red with the yellow cheese. It looks so pretty and it's bubbling. Y'all hear it? You see that? You hear it? I hear it and I see it. <laughs> I'll show y'all them when they're completely done. Okay, let's go. Okay, y'all. Here are my flaming hot enchiladas. Wow. I'm slayed. I imagined them a tiny bit prettier because <laughs> the sauce didn't really melt down. It's still kind of lumpy, but that's okay. That's just how it is. I just can't wait to take a bite. But first, I do want to add a little bit of garnish to this dish because like I always say, this channel is a classy channel. <laughs> so I'm just going to put some enchiladas, no, not enchiladas, flaming hot Cheetos around. As y'all can see, enchiladas are on my mind. Look really hot, you might look like sheep, but girlfriend, anyone can Let me show it to y'all from a different angle. Oh my God, you guys, how good do these look? They look so delicious. Let me put some on a plate for myself. I'm ready. They're like really soft. Holy crap. I don't know how I'm gonna get them out. Oh my God, that was bad. That was, <laughs> let me try to flip it over. Oh my God. Y'all, this was gonna be my thumbnail. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, wait, but before we eat it, I wanna see the inside of it. Cause I wanna see like that meat and stuff on the inside. It's gonna be real delicious. Ooh, they're so soft, I cannot. <gasps> you guys, oh my God. Look at that pocket. <laughs> this looks like my asshole. Let's just eat now. It's time to taste it. This one actually turned out really nice. It's just a half a one and this one's a mess. I'm gonna eat it all. I don't care how it looks. Okay, so I got a taste here. I got the nacho cheese on the bottom. I got the enchilada sauce on top with the flaming hot Cheetos in it. I got the meat. Oh my, look at that meat. Okay, let's just, let's just dig in. Oh my. Look at the flaming hot Cheetos inside. Remember, I put like some powder in it. Mm. Usually, the Cheetos give things kind of like a burnty, not that great flavor sometimes. But with this, it fits right in. It tastes amazing. It adds like a real spiciness. Truly, one of my favorite Flaming Hot Cheeto DIYs I've ever done. Just because it actually tastes really good. I would order this at a restaurant, literally. It's that good. And the meat inside, like it's like taco flavored. It's just amazing. Mmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have lunch now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you watch this whole thing, you're the truest tomato in all the patch. And so I know who you are. Leave a comment that says, Spicy, spicy, yes, yes. Oh my goodness, yes. Also, don't forget to watch all my other videos, y'all. I tasted like every Pop-Tart out there. I tasted like every Pringles out there. So go check all those videos out. They're all gonna be popping up around here. Don't forget to subscribe to become a tomato. I'll see you on the next video. I love you so much. Ooh, boo, boo.